Jury selection underway today in Washington for the trial of Lewis Scooter Libby, the one-time chief of staff for Vice President Cheney, charged with lying to investigators trying to find out who leaked the identity of a CIA agent. The agent is Valerie Plame. Her husband had raised questions about the intelligence used by the White House to justify the Iraq war. The vice president is scheduled to testify at the trial. That will be a historic moment. There will also be some media history made in that courtroom. Bloggers will claim seats beside members of the mainstream media. I guess they put that in quotes, mainstream. <laughs> Jackie Schechner knows the bloggers as well as anybody in our shop. I do. Uh, and this is a big deal, isn't it? It is. Well, it's been a long-standing debate of whether bloggers or journalists should they be treated like the mainstream press. Well, the trial of Scooter Libby will be a trial for bloggers, too. Bloggers have been all over the Valerie Plame CIA leak case since the story broke in 2003, digging for information and keeping the story in the public eye. Now they'll be able to closely monitor the latest twists and turns in person from inside the federal courthouse at the trial of Lewis Scooter Libby. We see bloggers as an opportunity to take advantage of a new uh, growing trend in the media landscape to inform the public. The Media Bloggers Association is all about getting bloggers access. They worked out a deal with the federal judiciary for two seats in an overflow room. James Joyner runs the conservative blog Outside the Beltway and will be one of at least 12 bloggers rotating in and out of those seats. I mean, it's unique in the sense, again, that you've got sort of ordinary citizens with day jobs covering the trial. Will we have any brilliant insights that, uh, you know, that the scores of other reporters out there covering the thing won't have? I don't know. While this is the first time independent bloggers, those not affiliated with mainstream news organizations, are getting credentials for a federal trial, it is not the first time bloggers have scored high-level access. In March 2005, Garrett Graff was the first blogger ever invited into a White House press briefing. He says, take these so-called milestones with a grain of salt. They're almost certainly uh, initially overblown. Uh, it's great that bloggers are getting this additional access. It's always great to get more voices out there. But the, the truth of the matter is that very few bloggers have the, the resources or the time to go out and do original reporting. Now we know that there will actually be five media seats reserved for bloggers, the two that the Media Bloggers Association have put aside, plus three additional seats. It'll be interesting to see as the trial goes on and on how many of those bloggers will actually make it to the end. Miles. Well, it's always good to have more voices, I guess, right? Sure, but I think that there's the question of journalistic integrity, and I think people need to make the distinction between a mainstream media journalist who's tied to a mainstream media organization and someone who's a blogger, independent, self-published, who has their own opinion. And you have to read those blog entries as if they are opinion and not vetted like we vet them they have right. no editorial process or very limited editorial process in comparison all right Jackie thank you very much Anytime. a bit